And there's currently a jobs bill before Congress that would do two big things for small business owners. Cut more taxes and make available more loans. It would help them get the credit they need and eliminate capital gains taxes on key investments so they have more incentive to invest right now. And it would accelerate $55 billion of tax relief to encourage American businesses, small and large, to expand their investments over the next 14 months. Unfortunately, this bill has been languishing in the Senate for months, held up by a partisan minority that won't even allow it to go to a vote. That makes no sense. This bill is fully paid for. It will not add to the deficit, and there is no reason to block it besides pure partisan politics. The small business owners and the communities that rely on them, they don't have time for political games. They shouldn't have to wait any longer. In fact, just this morning, a story showed that small businesses have put hiring and expanding on hold while waiting for the Senate to act on this bill. Simply put, holding this bill hostage is directly detrimental to our economic growth. So I ask Senate Republicans to drop the blockade. I know we're entering election season, but the people who sent us here expect us to work together to get things done and improve this economy. Now, no single step is the silver, uh, silver bullet that will reverse the damage done by the bubble and bust cycles that caused our economy into this slide. It's going to take a full-scale effort, a full-scale attack that not only helps in the short term but builds a firmer foundation that makes our nation stronger for the long haul. But this step will benefit small business owners and our economy right away. That's why it's got to get done. There's no doubt we still face serious challenges. But if we rise above the politics of the moment to summon an equal seriousness of purpose, I'm absolutely confident that we will meet them. I've got confidence in the American economy, and most importantly, I've got confidence in the American people. We've just got to start working together to get this done.